Hi lovely people. Um, so my name is Hayley. I'm an artist and I have a small little art business called Designed by HMA. Um, and I am HMA. It stands for Hayley Margaret Arthur, which Arthur is my maiden name. Um, I'm now a Hames. I got married earlier this year, um, but I'm still HMA. So you can call me HMA or Haley. it's completely up to you. I will respond to both. Um, so today I just wanted to introduce myself a little bit. I've never done a video before. Um, I thought it might be nice for you, or not nice, depending on if you like my face, to meet me in a virtual capacity um and see the face behind the artwork that i'm posting um so yeah this is me i have just woken up i've got no makeup on i'm not exactly wearing the most flattering outfit but it's what i paint and this is what i look like when i paint except i'll scrape my hair back later um so i wanted to make this video today to show you what I'm doing at the moment. Obviously I've gone from doing animals to abstracts, so I'm in the process of developing my abstract skills. Um, and I've been employing a technique um, from Shelley Art. So what I'm gonna do today is go through a bit of my setup, which is a bit homemade, maybe not professional, got like half a rabbit cage, part of a dog kennel, um, but I don't have space, like a studio space or anything, I just work from my kitchen, so I'm on my kitchen table trying to protect it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to first of all take you through my setup and then I'll pour some paint on the canvas, blow the paint, get those cells, and I've got a spinner now, a cake spinner. So I'm going to, for the first time, make some spin art. Hopefully it goes well, but don't know. You'll witness it anyway. Um, so yeah, it's nice to meet you guys. And hopefully you like this video and if you do, I'll keep making some more. So guys, this is my setup in the kitchen. A bit chaotic, but I make it work. As explained before, I've used half a rabbit cage here, which is just the lower part and the base of a dog cage as well. Um, so I've got my pillow paint, which is the paint I'll apply to the canvas first, which is just a house paint. I got this one from Home Base. Um, and then I've got all my colours, which is just a gloss, a house gloss um, for wood and metal. And I've mixed it with tube paint, lots of nice colours. And then I've got my cell activator um, and that will create the nice cells on the canvas, which I'm looking forward to showing you. Um, my canvases I've backed with frog tape and at the end of painting and adding the resin, I'll peel that off and it will create a nice clean edge on the canvas. Um, and I've got my new, well, new to me, cake spinner. Um, I've got some frog tape on here to hopefully stop the painting flying off. Um, I've covered it in cling film. It's easy to clean after. And yeah, everything's lined with paper to protect it. I've got extra little bits like lollipop sticks which I mix the paint with and add it to the canvas. I've got some little toothpicks, pop some bubbles, a little blow torch which is fun to use and um, that also pops some bubbles. Got my little camera stand which is a bit 
again makeshift everything I have is a bit makeshift but it works um a big box of paints yeah just the big mess in my kitchen basically oh here's some paint paintings that I um made earlier I've made these like little bubbles somehow um everyone on the art community says they're called pearls which I really like happy accident which I'm hoping to keep replicating now um so yeah this is my setup on to painting right so now we're on to the painting bit I'm gonna show you what I do which is what I've been learning as well from the Shelley art technique um, and I hope it goes well so I'm just going to apply some pillow paint first I like to spread it to the edges so I know it's going to cover and then add a little bit more to the middle to create that pillow that's going to flow around the whole canvas don't have too many bubbles which is good I've let the paint set for a couple of days so hopefully there won't be too many this is what the toothpicks are good for as well just spotted a little hair so I can get that out pop some of these bubbles and then I'll add some colours cell activator in the middle and then we're going to blow the cell activator over the paint and hopefully we'll get some nice cells So I've not done a very good job of spreading the cell activator. Let's see if I can recover it a bit with the straw. There are lots of nice little cells there. I don't know if you can see them. Hopefully you'll be able to when I stretch it. Right, I think that will do for that section. Onto the case thing. All right, I'm just going to move my canvas from over here onto here. Stick it down and hope for the best. And this is why I needed the rabbit cage. <laughs> It's not spun evenly. I'm gonna have to check my measurements a bit. Get this off. I wonder if I can just put gloves on. If I can just get it to spread down that way a bit. pretty well actually. Better than I expected in a way. I think I'm gonna actually leave that. I might just maybe just a little bit more. Nice though. Right now I'm gonna put it back over here to dry. Right we're going in with the pillow first. Spreading it to the edges I 
right and create that little thick bit in the middle. Um, I might go similar colours but the turquoise colour showed through the most and that was on the bottom so I'm going to try a pink one on the bottom. See if we can get that colour to show through the most. see from there but the cells look really nice there's some really rich colors and it's like shimmering with the gold um so yeah i'm ready to spin that Stick it on the spinner there you can see it's starting to stretch out spinning is a huge success though considering it's the first time that i've done it it's worked really well, so I can see why people like it. Seem to keep the cells there a bit more. I don't know if you can see, but it's made like a really nice pour down the deep edge of the canvas as well. And I'm a big fan of these colours as well. if I want to do much more but look how nice that looks look at the cells leaking down and off the canvas it's a shame I'm going to lose some of those to the spinner but the edges just look really nice I can't wait to see what this looks like when I've got resin on it this might be one of my favorite yet it's just a shame that you know like this bit has lost some of the cells and we've got them down the side instead but it has made some beautiful marks in there oh I'm really pleased with that actually the cake spinner might be a success if I can get it off the cake spinner without destroying everything right and now we are on to canvas number three which is the last one I'm going to be doing today so let's hope that it's successful. and final spin of the day. that's with eight different colors in there maybe not as nice as the second one I did but I still like it 
and we've got nice sides as well just looks so nice like grip down the sides there i might just lift it off and see if i can spread to those last couple of corners but pretty pleased overall with the outcome of the spinner i think i'm gonna leave it hope you like it i finished painting for the day now um looks a bit messy but not too bad the paper and the cling film will make for an easy clean up i hope um i've got quite a lot of paint left over which will be good for another day hopefully tomorrow um so i'm going to take you through now the finished paintings they're not dry yet so might dry differently but hopefully will turn out good and um, this is the first one it might look a bit different from where i left it on the video before um, because these pearls have popped through which i think look really nice actually especially on a blue canvas because it looks like water bubbles so that was the first one i did and this is the second one i did which I think might be my favourite. It's the pinks and purples, really nice sides. I don't know if you can see at the back here. Lots of pearls popping through there. And the cells look really nice. Starting to get a hang of this technique. You can see the shimmer of the gold a bit as well, which hopefully will pop a bit more once I add resin. And then this is the third and final one of the day, which I think gives the second one a run for its money. This was with all eight colours that I had made. It's the freshest one, so not as many pearls have popped through. Um, but I will update you when they're all dry. Right, that is the end of the video, guys. Um, first of all, I want to say a huge thank you for watching. It really means the world to me. Um, and second of all, I really hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I hope you liked seeing the process. I hope you liked the art that I've produced today. And I really hope that you like me. Um, but yeah, it's been a really nice experience to share with you, especially because I've been trying something new with the cake spinner, which thankfully went really well. Um, but yeah, I hope this is an example of not needing a professional space um, to create art. Um, as you can see, I'm working from a kitchen, working out of a rabbit cage. Um, which might seem a bit ridiculous to some, but I'm hopefully producing work that you really like. Um, so I guess the moral of the story is it doesn't matter where you do it or how you do it. Um, but yeah, if you have an interest in art and thinking you don't have the space or the money or whatever the reason, just I hope this is an example that you can do it. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of the video. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you soon.